All right, I've got a question for you guys, especially you freaks who are in the Discord channel right now paying attention because you guys are hardcore dedicated people, and I'm glad that you're out there. So, freaky deekies, well, first, Zach, play the Duracode intro music. All right. All right. So Duracoat finished firearms of the week. This is the question I'm going to ask you guys. Uh, first, I'll start out with a statement. There are many schools and organizations uh, in our firearms training, firearms world will adopt an official camouflage scheme, right? They'll use an official camouflage pattern or whatever. So when they, when they need a camouflage or they're doing images or whatever, They'll pick one and stick with it. I've been thinking about that. I've been thinking about that. Thinking? I've been thinking. I be thinking. I'm like uh, George Wallace. I be thinking. So, as we move forward with Student of the Gun University, uh, should we do an official Student of the Gun camouflage pattern? And if so... Hmm, what should it be? What should it be? Uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? You, you think that we should? You think it's a dumb idea? It's a silly idea? It's a great idea? Uh, what was your, your favorites? And I want to stick away from, I want to stay away from the obvious stuff, you know. I think we should do mm. a tiger striped mm, see that's a little bit obvious though i think tiger stripe is digitals and tigers are a little bit obvious you should do a digital tiger stripe a digital tiger yeah. is, is that even possible i don't know i don't know it would be it, it would, would take some skill i'm sure mm. it would take some creative skill yeah which, which I, I, well the, that's the thing is it can't be super complex because it's going to need to be simple enough to use on everything you know on, on in, in digital logos, you know, on actual physical products, whatever. So I was, that's what I'd be thinking. I, I'd be thinking about that. And and if anybody can help me do that, it's Zurico. And I, I will admit to you, I was remiss this week. I was going to go and look at all the different uh, badass colors, and I just didn't get to it. I didn't get to it. Well, when you start from starting mm -hmm. to look at the colors, you'll be looking for the rest of your life yeah if you go through every well i mean the badass colors i think there's only oh the badass yeah colors. how many badass colors does steve have uh, duracoat badass i think we should open one more tab i know uh, let's see duracoat, duracoat firearm finishes so if you are following along you can go to duracoat firearm finishes.com hover over the coatings tab duracoat and then duracoat badass click that link and it takes you there there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 colors. Mm. You know what Steve didn't do? Black Hawk Coyote Tan. Before he left us, he didn't figure out a way to make it come out of the can for you. Camouflaged. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just shh. He's like, guys, I made it easy enough. Comes out is in three yeah. different. Steve. You should have put three different colors in the single, in the one can, and when I shook it up, it comes out. That's funny. <laughs> you know, that's probably how the the people who think that you can go out and buy a fully semi-automatic gun that should be banned, that's probably how they think camouflage works. You just like, and it comes out like that. That would be cool. Yeah. That's how it works in in uh, Warner Brothers or Looney Tunes cartoons. <laughs> Stock so, red. You could do your guitar. Mm, yeah, that looks more like a like a burnt orange. Royal blue. Royal blue. This one is red. Royal blue. All right. So that is the. I was just thinking. There's uh, HK Black. HK Black. Yeah, it's, it's slightly, is there slightly darker? Mad Magpul fl Flat Dark Earth. Mm. Matte Black. The best black of all is slightly darker black. Yes. You can get slightly darker black. It does actually say 
slightly darker black on the can. And you can get that uh, from Duracoat. That was a, a mutual that was a mutual braining between us and them. So is it a standard color or a tactical color? Uh I don't know. It, type it in the search engine. Type in slightly darker black and find it. But I know it's there. I know it's there. Yes, you can uh, well it's in the blacks. Aha, found yeah. it slightly darker. If you black. go to the blacks, it's in the you standard can find colors, it. blacks, aerosol application is where I found it. I That's to, right. I went to Durco standard colors, clicked on the first product. And uh And if you guys are gonna do something in black and you're not doing it in slightly darker black, I don't want to see you no more. That's pretty funny. That's right, I don't want to see you no more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, SDS Imports. What's SD been your favorite gun from them that you've shot so far? Oh, well the uh, the the Gen Three, the the uh, the the X Gen Three. Um, Is that the TSOS? Yeah, the 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 the, the TSOS Gen Three um, is is a really good pistol. That's a really good pistol. The nineteen uh, eleven. No, no, the, the PX9. The oh, PX9, PX9 Gen 3. Gen 3, that's right. Yeah. Okay, I was like... I... Uh, that one's really good. The, the, uh, the, the Compact 45 that they call the... Where's the Compact 45? Pull it up. Uh, that one right there. The Bantam. The Bantam. The Bantam is a really... It's, it's, it's an insanely well-built stock pistol. It's built like a custom, but it's a factory gun. Really? Yeah, oh yeah, it's... Really, it, it was very impressive. I was impressed by it. So, I'm uh, very surprised that you didn't say the 1911A1 U.S. Army pistol. Mm. Well, uh, that it's it has a sentimental, you yeah, know. That's why I'm surprised thing in my heart. But yeah. and it's a good gun. Uh, it's a really good gun for what it is. Uh, it's just there, and and of course, I'm really impressed actually by their uh, VP12 shotgun. The magazine-fed Kalashnikov-style shotgun uh, is a is really good. I was very impressed by that. So there you go. So they have some they have some really impressive guns. Do they have the? the was that a talker of? Yeah, I think it's a talk. Oh crap! Um, but either way, the boys over at SDS Imports got a lot of good guns, and there are bros. So you should. Uh, you should go ahead and there you go. VP 12. That's it's ah. fantastic. Uh, fantastic semi-automatic shotgun. You can get all this information and links to these firearms at sdsimports.com. That's right. There's a menu at the top that says TSS pistols, talker of USA shotguns and firearms. Mm. You know what the boys over at high point did this week? What? They released a, a an image on their Instagram socialist media oh, of no. the new gun. Did they really? Yep, they did. Uh, they the the Yeet Cannon, the 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 YC Niner. Uh, they released it on Instagram image there, as a teaser. There it is. This one. This one. No, no, no. That one. That's no, the new one. That's old. That's first. new. Okay. Yeah. See how yeah. new it is. Wow, different actually, magazines, different grips, slick. threaded barrel, all that stuff. They're changing the way that High Point is going to be perceived. Oh man, it's only taken well, maybe, three years. Yeah. yeah. Well, it would have been out in 2020 if you Americans wouldn't have decided to cave to your criminal government and hide in your houses and hide behind your masks and shut down your businesses and act like a bunch of scared little children for two years uh it would have already been out but since you decided you wanted to hide in your houses and behind your masks and allow the government to uh to basically treat you like an abused uh, like an abused spouse you allowed your government to commit domestic violence against you so oh uh, otherwise that would be out right now and I'm right, and if you don't think I'm right, you're wrong, and you need to get better taste. You need to actually, yeah, you know what you need to do. You need to eat some animal fat so your brain will function better. All right, moving on. <clears throat> Man, the, I got the uh, in my throat today. Got the uh, in your throat? Mm. Well, that's good. We can uh, got the, uh, if you want to go to watch all of the history of Student of the Gun videos, you can go to Juxy.com. That's right. Go to the Student of the Gun channel. On there, it's easy. You go to juxi.com, J-U-X-X-I.com, search for Student of the Gun. 
click on the channel and all the videos will be there and subscribe you weirdos yeah subscribe there we need heavier engagement more engagement better engagement there on juicy than we have on facebook so you're the uh, only one that can make that happen that's right that's right oh that's a headline the louisiana abortion ban temporary restraining order has been extended what does that mean don't know didn't read the article i know but that's a title so what do you extrapolate from that title the louisiana abortion ban temporary restraining order has been extended yeah. how do you extrapolate oh you, so, you know so english is hard and I saw a. We, we don't write headlines anymore for yeah. comprehension. It's for clickbait. Yeah. Uh, so I wrote, uh, I saw a headline from the Daily Wire, who should know better. It said Elon Musk's father has child with his stepsister. So if you diagram a sentence, did you guys learn how, did you learn how to diagram sentences in school or did they just skip over that part? Yeah, we learned. Okay. So. Elon Musk's father has child with his stepsister. Now, so who, based on that sentence, just those words, not what you would infer, not what you would imply, just based on those words, that's all you have to work with, what is or who is the subject of the sentence? Elon Musk's father. The father. So the father... The, the previous is Elon Musk. That's a descriptor. Yeah. But father is the subject. And then so the word the his, his should would imply to, the, to father. the father. So I said, I, I saw that headline. I'm like, so it was the father's stepsister? Well, it's not. If you read the story, it's not. But the way the headline is written in the, using the English language, the subject is father. His indicates the subject, refers back to the subject, meaning that it's, because when I first read it, I was like, so this dude's pretty old. Yeah. And he's having a baby with his, his stepsister? Oh, uh, no. It's Elon Musk. So the, the even the Daily Wire is, is they're having, you know what they're doing? They're, writing they're having the millennials and Gen Zs write their crap. Yeah, they're writing for the algorithm. Yeah, they're they're writing for... We no longer write for humans. We, we write, write for, for retards. Yeah. yeah. We write so we, that more people can... We're writing for retards. More in front of more people than it would... But does that actually help? Yes, it does. It does? Absolutely. Yep. I've seen mm. data and uh, I've actually been part of... do. Well, while you guys go ahead and subscribe to our Juxy channel, and I'm watching the numbers, and if you don't do it, I'm, I don't want to see you no more.